I'm still in Quartzsite. I love it. I love the LTVA. I love the price. It's so quiet. And you can drive and <laughs> there's nobody around. You can shoot film. I'm about to get my new spot. Not my new spot, my old spot. When that big RV leaves, I'll show it to you. It's, I call it my little cul-de-sac. And that's going to be my YouTube office, my home, where I can just work and not socialize so much. <laughs> Make more videos. You'll love it. You'll love that I'm there. Discount Solar to look at and maybe try and find my piece of hair in my mouth. The um, I lost the charge controller. I don't know if I left it at the other place of business that I'm not going to name. And uh, I can't find it. But I did clean my RV a lot and prepared. And I'm going to show you where I'm putting the batteries. And they fit. And I'm really excited. And hopefully i got to go. It's like, I think they close at 4. Everything closes early here in the desert. Like sometimes 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock. It's real senior senior hours or heat hours maybe it's because it gets too hot got the air conditioner on today what else there we go nothing's ever like it is but at least i'm going to be able to share with you a really budget friendly computer use that's all this is about is a computer and i'm excited for what i've learned being on a budget has been well, last year there was no budget, and this year it's just a little bit of budget, but it's, 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 it's teaching me so much. They're so nice here, and they've been really helpful on my budget plan. Look at all these pre-cut, ready to go, like, look at that. All the different sizes? Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm going to at least purchase some of these today so I can uh, measure the size that goes from uh, battery to battery. Look at their lovely panel of charge controllers. And, of course, all of them are very nice. But this one is the one that is most interesting to me because it, it will tell you your voltage and it's just a 12 volt reader so you can plug it in and it's like $14. So they're helping me hook up a system that might not be the one I'm going to be stuck with but I at least it'll work for now. We'll see if they have my charge controller. Well here's where I have three of the batteries. I know it looks like four, doesn't it? <laughs> that one's going to become the house battery that it's connected. So this is the location I chose that I can still use my door, which I do use a lot because my other doors, this one's broken and loud. These, I have those from the chair, and that's from the chair that was sitting here. So I know someone can go underneath there and take those out. That's a project. So I keep those there so I don't hit my foot. But my house battery is right here. <clears throat> Hold on. So this is where... It's kind of a dangerous... It's not hooked up. <laughs> I know. It's dangerous when you step on the crack. So here's my new battery that I got in Texas, but I wanted to take this one out so, so I have to have all the same batteries in the same system. So I'll have the AGM, one AGM here and three over there. Because this is hooked up to the isolator in the whole house system. That's my thoughts, but if you guys have any other thoughts, let me know. The sine wave, pure sine wave inverter that I got. For $50 I'm thinking I'll put right here <laughs> make sure this uh, tell me about how to safely mount those or what's the best location for them I don't want to do I put it on something because I want this to all be ready to go so when I go to discount solar all they have to do is hook things up so I want things in the location and so tonight and tomorrow Sunday, while you guys are watching TV, you can help me. Because I want that one, one battery will go into there, and then the three go over there. So I've been measuring to know what distance of cord I can buy. 
Uh, hold on, let me go. So I have all the negatives on this side, all the positives on that side. And should I put that on cardboard or something? I don't have any wood, but I do. Well, it's all under my bed. So I think that's all the questions I have for now. Lined them up there. One of the AGMs here. And where should I put the sine wave inverter? I have a three foot. And, and the sine wave inverter, would it be hooked up to this? No, it would be hooked up to that. So maybe mount it up here, right here. And then the, because I have a, I remember I bought that extension. Oh, and I found, I found, look what I found. <laughs> yeah, it was in a drawer with another isolator that I'll give back to them. And that's my sister's. But anyway, I found the charge controller. So here it is. That's the one I'm using. 10 amp, which will be sufficient just to run my computer, and that's all I'm using it for. No lights, nothing. No fans, no TV, just my computer. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, tell me what you guys think. You're so good at that, all of you. <laughs> I do not like the openness of this. It's just so... So there's the connection over there that, look at that area. It's like the shock and awe, huh? Everywhere, everywhere on this RV. For now, that's a temporary, it's a temporary situation, temporary shock and awe. I look forward to hearing from you all. My batteries hardly holds the charge. It takes all day for my phone to charge. So I can't, it's hard to respond but I will read all your comments. I love them. These are the four batteries that I have that Eric gave me. So that's what I'm working with, with the 75 watt solar panel. Here's my 75 watt panel. That's what I have. And it has a little black box on the back. <clears throat> And that's it. So that's going to have to do for now. That's all I got. It's going to be good enough. Correct? <laughs>